Hey, what's going on guys? Josh here coming at you with, um, this is a couple days old, but, uh, they announced some new Cosmo support for, uh, Shining Victories. Um, very, 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 very excited for this set. I love Cosmo. Um, so the first one we have is a level five dark psychic type, uh, Cosmo Dark Lady. Um, uh, she looks like a souped up version of Dark Witch. Um, 2200 uh, attack, 1800 defense. During either player's turn, you can banish this card. Special summon one uh, six or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. Once per turn during either player's turn, when another monster's effect is activated, you can pay a thousand life points. Negate that activation. And if you do, destroy that monster. Wow, uh, that card's awesome. I love it. It looks like a secret rare, so um, very, very, very cool. Uh, I cannot wait for some of these new cards. Uh, next up, we have Cosmo Dark Planet. This is like the Death Star. Uh, 4,000 level 10 dark machine type. Uh, this card cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing Cosmo monsters from your hand whose level whose levels equal 10 or more and cannot be special summoned by any other means. Okay, wow. Um, cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects during either player's turn when a spell card is activated you can banish one cosmo monster from your graveyard negate the activation and if you do destroy that card if this card is destroyed by battle or by a card effect and sent to the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard add one level nine or lower cosmo monster from your deck to your hand Okay, lots of stuff going on with that card. Um, honestly, one, I think, might be good, but, like, there's no way you could play, like, two or three. Um, I'm not really sure. Personally, I think one might be good, like, um, like, uh, Dark Eclipser. Like, one is good. Like, you don't need more than one, so I'm probably gonna do... A dark planet and still a dark eclipser um i don't know that's just me let me know what you guys are thinking about doing or running it at all um there's a lot going on with that card but it's beefy it's like the new boss big boss monsters the level 10 so that's pretty cool and then we have cosmo frightful lion this is like um of course the cowardly lion from the wizard of oz and like a chewbacca mix uh so this is a level two psychic light type 1200 attack 500 defense during either player's turn you can banish this card special summon one level three or higher cosmo monster from your hand you can only use this effect of cosmo frightful lion once per turn uh, you can pay 500 life points, then target three of your banished Cosmo mo monsters, return them to the graveyard, and if you do, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. Okay, so you can use Emergency Teleport if you really wanted to on this guy, but um, he's not as good as um, the other two. So I think Dark Lady's the best one, uh, this guy, I don't know. I'll probably mess around with testing all of these new cards. There is a new Cosmo Trap card as well, but I'm not too familiar with it. You can see it here. So, um, anyways, I don't know. Any, I love Cosmo, and I'm definitely going to be messing around with the new cards when they come out, but... I don't see me my, personally using Frightful Lion that much. Um, there's better psychics. I mean, we got Tin Can and we got Straw Man. Uh, Straw Man, I think, is a better level two than this. But um, anyways, guys, I just thought this was pretty interesting. These were released a couple days ago um uh, on the Yu-Gi-Oh organization facebook page so if you, uh comment down below what you think about these cosmo cards if you plan out if you plan on trying them i'd love to hear what you guys think and uh you know what 
you guys might plan to use these with. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, I will speak with you soon. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.